look me in the eyes And I keep you in my heart And my heart is where you are Hi guys, so uh, good afternoon and welcome back to my magical world. I am Frostbite and if you're new to my channel, what I do here is I dance. No, <laughs> joke lang guys. So, I read for you. Yun talaga guys. So, I read for you and uh, I update my life. I don't know if like I'm really updating because I don't say anything naman. <laughs> so, but uh, a lot is like going on. Uh, right now, so I'm kind of like um, I think decisions have been made, diba? I told you like, June is like a decision month making for me, so um, it has been a finalized na, so I'll sabihin ko sa inyo like, after I get that, okay? So, uh, yun lang, I think so far. Mamaya na tayo mag a minute, ha? So, it's 1.05 in the afternoon, and today is June 22, uh, 2023. I think birthday ata ng pinsan ko. So, it's uh, Thursday today, so I love, you know, I just love Thursday. So, I think Thursday has been like a magical day for me, as always. I don't know, everything, something always, something good always happens to me every Thursday for some reason for some magical reason <laughs> so uh okay so yun lang naman guys i think uh let's start na so sit back ay may pimples ako <laughs> kasi i think malapit na yung bloody days ata i'm not sure because you know every woman's body is different so um, going back na tayo sa ating... Because you really need to learn a lot of this. It's not like... Um, more of like super duper learning. But you know, uh, hearing... Just listening to me, diba? Uh, with my reading skills. <laughs> reading skills. <laughs> with my um, wisdom, diba? Sabi ko sa inyo... Basta guys, at saka medyo ano na ako, I'm finally in my element, pero I'm not really fully recovered. Siguro mga um, 90%, hindi pa ako nakakabalik sa doctor. So, you know. So, uh, let's go back. So, we're on to page 96 and 97. And, uh, tighten your belt. <laughs> listen, listen up guys. So, tune in by now. Okay, so in the pages that follow, we shall re review some of the ways that the quality of experience can be improved through the refined use of bodily processes. Okay, so these include physical activities like sports and dance, the cultivation of sexuality, and the various Eastern dis disciplines um, for controlling the mind through the training of the body. They also feature the discriminating use of the senses of sight, hearing, and taste. Each of these modalities offers an almost unlimited amount of enjoyment. But only to persons who work to develop the skills they require, to those who do not, the body remains indeed a lump of rather inexpensive flesh. Okay, yeah, so sandali lang. Wait lang. So, yan, ina inayos ko lang yung stand. Okay, so, inayos ko lang yung phone stand. Um, also, guys, to my friends, if you happen to listen, but I, I really know that, I know that you you rarely watch my video, so, kasi busy din kayo. But, if so, if like some of my friends here in real life, ha, <laughs> not online. <laughs> so, uh, know that I haven't able to uh, get back to you pa. So, I'm still working on something. After nito, guys, for sure, don't worry, guys. I will go back to you. Ha? Huh? Kasi, I have friends from different places that I have left there. So, may mga inaayos pa talaga ako, guys. Hindi talaga kaya. Also, I don't like, diba, asking for help naman. That's why I am figuring thing everything by myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> yun nga guys, so stay put muna kayo pag medyo okay na talaga siya, like completely okay, I will come back to you guys ha, so uh, yun lang naman uh, let's proceed naman 
So we have a subtype subtopic here uh, entitled higher entitled higher faster stronger. Okay, so the Latin motto of the modern Olympics games Altius Citius Fortius is a good in a, in if incomplete summary of how the body can experience flow. It encompasses the rationale the rationale of all sports which is to do something better than it has ever been done before. So, if you don't know guys, yung sports ko is like a lot guys. <laughs> but I love, I really love running. Running, tapos yung uh, ping pong. Yan, yung sa table. Hmm, table tennis. Ata, yun. Basta yun, flat uno ako dun. So, wala lang. <laughs> So, <laughs> super competitive. So, the purest form of athletics and the sports in general is to break through the limitations of what the body can accomplish. Oh, my putik yan. <laughs> Wait lang. Ay, sorry, sorry. Wala na ano na to, second take. Yun na yun. So, bahala na kayo mag-adjust, guys. So, however unimportant an athletic goal may appear to the outsider, it becomes a serious affair when performed with the intent of demonstrating a perfection of skill. Okay? So, you really can perfect a skill, guys. I tell you. Seryoso. Like, there's is, there is like a perfection of skills. Diba sabi nila nobody is perfect? But there is. Um, practicing most of the time for years. Sa iba, for years, some can take um, months, siguro. Basta ganun, guys. Alam nyo na yun. Matatalino viewer ko. So, throwing things, for instance, is a rather trivial ability. Even small baby babies are quite good at it. As the toys surrounding any infant's crib testify. But how far a person can throw an object of a certain weight becomes a matter of legend. The Greeks invented the discus and the great discus throwers of antiquity were immortalized by the best sculptors. So the Swiss gathered on holidays in mountain meadows to see who could toss the trunk of a tree farthest. The Scots did the same with gigantic rocks in baseball nowadays pitchers become rich and famous because they can throw balls with speed and precision and basketball players because they can sink them into hoops okay some of athletes some athletes throw javelins others are bowlers or shot putters or hammer throwers some throw boomerangs or cast fishing lines so each of these variations on the basic capacity to throw offers almost unlimited opportunities for enjoyment. So, kayo guys, if you have like children, um, make sure they're doing some sports as much as possible. Because they will just be rarely as, I, they will only have a few years, diba, to be kids. So after that, it's gonna be a stressful uh, adulting na. So, make sure to let them enjoy the um, you know, playing. Like, literal playing. Like, no no expectation. So, you know, hirap kasi. Like, parents nowadays, they just love to give gadgets to their kids. Diba? So, bahala kayo. <laughs> bahala kayo dyan. So, Altius higher is the first word of the Olympic motto. And soaring above the ground is another universally recognized challenge. To break the bonds of gravity is one of the oldest dreams of mankind. The myth of Icarus who had wings fashioned so he could reach the sun has been long held to be a parable of the aims, noble and misguided at the uh, at the same time of civilization itself. To jump higher, to climb the loftiest peaks, to fly far above the earth are among the most enjoyable activities people can do. Yet some savants have recently invented a, specific, a special psychic infirmity that so-called Icarus complex to account for this desire to be released from the pool of negativity. Okay, so like all explanations that try to uh, reduce enjoyment, 
to a defensive ploy against repressed anxieties this one misses the point okay so of course Hi guys, so we're just going to continue. I'm on a different day right now because uh, the last time that I was filming is it wasn't, um, I don't know what happened. It wasn't saved. So, or I'm just going to finish the uh, pages that was left. But, yeah, <laughs> that's it. So, it's 10.13 in the evening and we're just going to continue, ha? Huh? Because I wasn't able to finish it. I have to refilm again. Like, this part lang naman, okay? But it's still long. <laughs> so, of course, in some sense of all purposeful action, can be regarded as a defense against the threats of chaos. But in, in that respect, it is more worthwhile to consider acts that bring enjoyment as signs of health, not of disease. So flow experiences based on the usual physical skills do not occur only at, in the context of outstanding athletic feats. Olympians do not have an exclusive gift in finding enjoyment in pushing performance beyond existing boundaries. Every person, no matter how unfit he or she is, can rise a little higher, go a little faster, and grow to be a little stronger. Then... The joy of surpassing the limits of the body is open to all. So even the simplest physical act becomes enjoyable when it is transformed so as to produce flow. The essential steps in this process are to set an overall goal and as many sub-goals as are realistically feasible. So to find ways of measuring progress in terms of the goals chosen. Okay, so to keep concentrating on what one is doing and to keep making finer and finer distinctions in the challenges involved in the activity. So to develop the skills necessary to interact with the opportunities available and to keep raising the stakes if the activity becomes boring. Okay, so a good example of this method is that act of walking which is a simple a use of the body as one can imagine yet which can become a complex flow activity almost an art form a great number of different goals might be set for a walk for instance the choice of the itinerary where one wishes to go and by what uh, route within the overall route one ma might select places to stop or certain landmarks to see another goal may be to develop a personal style, a way to move the body easily and efficiently, okay? So, an economy of motion that maximizes physical well-being is another obvious goal for measuring progress. The feedback may include how fast and how easily the intended distance was covered, how many interesting sights one has seen, and how many new ideas or feelings were entertained along the way. The challenges of the activities are what forces us to concentrate. The challenges of a walk will vary greatly depending on environment. For those who live in large cities, flat sidewalks and right angle layouts may make the physical act of walking easily. Uh, walking on a mountain trail is another thing together. For a skilled hiker, each step presents a different challenge to be resolved with a choice of uh of the most efficient foothold that will give the best leverage simultaneously taking into account the momentum and the center of gravity of the body and the various surfaces dirt rocks or uh, roots grass branches on which one in which the foot can land okay so medyo mahaba talaga siya guys but i uh, thank you for finishing it so I really appreciate all your presence here. I'm gonna take I'm gonna uh, film again. Uh because I know that I am uploading very late now because I'm I'm doing multiple things now. So I think everything is really working out in my favor. So I'm just really happy about that. And I got uh multiple good news. <laughs> so just really happy so thank you uh thank you guys for uh being here and thank
thank you for my present subscribers and for my future subscribers you know um always remember that when you subscribe here on my channel you'll always be uplifted and supported so what are you waiting for guys <laughs> so uh just going to do something and i'm gonna film again so for for today so i hope you all are wonder or oh, i hope you had a wonderful day so thank you guys for listening and thank you for helping me make this world a better place for all of us and for the future generation so i will see you again bye i still think of you i'm